All right. So in this video, I'll show you how to configure the Workforce Identity Federation with Microsoft Intra ID. Okay. So first thing within Microsoft, you will go to Microsoft Intra and you will you will go to App Registration and you will click a new app. Let's call this app as Google Cloud Workforce Identity Federation. Okay. And you will click on Register. This will create the app. Okay, and once this is ready, uh, you can go to open configuration and you can click on add uh, group, uh, group claim. So this is basically helpful when you want group-based authentication to Google Cloud. Okay, so I'll say all the security groups can be added for the authentication purpose. Okay, and once this is done, you will next go to certificates and cigarettes. And here you will click on at client uh at client uh, secret and let's call it as workforce identity federation and you will add this as well okay so this is the configuration uh mainly which you need to do at the microsoft intra end now going to google cloud console you will select your organization this is the organization and then you'll go to identity nexus management and here you'll go to workforce identity federation and here you will click on create pool Okay, now the pool name has to be unique. So I'll call this pool as MS Entra ID hyphen Webmagic Informatica. Okay, and I'll click on next. Now this will take some time to get created. I'll pause the video till that time. So once your identity pool is created, you need to add the provider. So I'll add the OIDC provider for this demo. Okay, and I'll call this provider as MS Entra ID. Uh, OIDC provider. Okay, and next you it will ask you the issuer URL. Now issuer URL you can get it from the Entra app which we created. Okay, by going to endpoint and by going to the Open ID metadata document. And here you should find the issuer URL. So this is the issuer URL. Show you this. Okay, so copy this URL and paste it over here. Quickly verify one more time. Yep, this is the issuer URL. You will put it over here. Then next is the client ID. So client ID, client ID. This is the client ID. Paste it over here. You we'll keep this enabled, and you will click on next. Now, if you want a console-based uh, login, then you will select the flow type as code. And you will keep this as user info and token ID. Okay. And then it is asking for client secret. And this you will get it from the certificates in secret star. And you'll copy this value and you will paste it over here. And you'll click on continue. Now you need to do attribute mapping. Okay. So credentials can be uh, attribute that provide information about the identity. So whenever the login happens, okay, the uh, Info about the identity, all right, that would be passed on from MS Intra to Google Cloud. Okay, that mapping you are doing over here. So, uh, one mapping is mandatory. So, that is Google subject. Here, you will put a certain sub. You can do more mapping. Okay, like for group, like let's say you want for group based authentication to also happen. So, you can do the group assertion. And you will put one more, which is username based assertion. Okay, once you have added these, you can click on submit button and this will create the provider. Okay, so this is the this is pretty much it in terms of configuration. Now, next, what you need to do is uh, one more thing which I'll do is I'll go to the app and within the app. Go to overview and let me add the app URI. Okay, we haven't done this, you know, we didn't hide this previously. Here we are basically we need to tell 
and this is a uh, here here we'll add the platform web based platform and here you can put the redirect URI or the app URI okay so here you will put the URL which is provided from Google Cloud with the uh, workful workful ID. So this is the URL which you need to put, which is odd dot google dot sorry odd dot cloud dot google. Okay. So this is needed because once the login is successful, okay, it should redirect back uh, to the Google Cloud console, right? So without that, things wouldn't work. So here, once you've configured. Once you put the URL, you need to update the URL with the pool ID. So this is your pool ID. And then the provider ID. Provider ID is something which we can which we just type when we are configuring the provider. Let me copy this. And we can put the provider ID as well over here. You can click on configure. So this is also done. Okay. Now I can do the access mapping. Okay. So let's say that I have a user. Let's go to Microsoft Entra and let's go to user. Let's say just simply create a user for test. We'll call this user as test. Test user. We set the password. Showing the password somehow. Okay, so I've added the password. And let me create this user. So this user is created. Okay. Now let's say that I want to uh give this user permission to one of my projects. I can go to one of my projects. Let's say I'll go to this project. Okay, I'll go to identity and access management of this project. Okay, and here I'll say uh, grant access. And now you need to put the principle as this. Remember, I'm just copying the URL. Correct URL. So you put the URL as this and the workforce pool ID. We just duplicate this star. Let me just ID is might have it in my clipboard. This is my pool ID. And in subject value, you need to put the user's UPN. And in our scenario, the user's UPN is test. Okay, and let me give this user a storage admin permission. Admin. without storage admin permission. Okay, and once this is done, the user should be able to log in. Okay, now I'll open up incognito mode. Okay. And incognito mode, I'll go to the federated URL, which is this. Okay, it is odd.google, odd.cloud.google, okay, followed by sign in and the console URL. Okay, here you need to need to put the provider. 
Okay. So this is the pattern basically which you need to put. Okay. You can just simply copy it from here and paste it. So I have the provider tool ID. the provider ID also. Okay, and then I'll click on next. So this redirects me to the Microsoft login page. I'll put the user ID with this. Test get the rate webmagicinformatica.com and the password. This is first time login. This is done. We'll skip the setup for now. I'll accept the consent. And now letting me sign into Google Cloud. All right, so I'm signed into Google Cloud. Okay, so you can see the username. You can see that over here as well. Okay, and now let me try to select the project. Uh, now since I don't have the list, uh, all the project permission, I might not be able to see this. I'll just copy the project URL, paste it over here, let's see what happens. Sign in, but I'm not still able to get the list of projects. This is mainly due to the permission. I have given the storage admin permission, uh, not the project owner permission. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let's go to this. Let's uh, go to identity and access management and let's give this user the owner permission so that he's able to list the project, not just the storage. So it won't come and drop down without doing this. We refresh. Hmm. Should be able to see the project. I guess some propagation delay in terms of permission. Let's give it a minute. Okay, it's formatted the project URL. Uh, by putting welcome and the project name. Okay, and I was able to see the project over here. Now let me just go to storage service. Ideally, I should have permission to everything. So I've given the owner permission. Uh, this cannot be sufficient permission because principal access boundary is blocking the access. Okay, this principal boundary is blocking the access. All right, so there is some blockage which I have done mostly at the identity access management. Okay, uh, which over here that's blocking my space. Okay, but the user is able to authenticate, he is able to log into the Google Cloud console. Probably once I solve this, okay, I, the user would be having necessary permission and he would be able to uh, look at the resources also. So this is how you can uh, set the workload identity federation. Okay, so that you're without synchronizing any users to Google Cloud, you can log in using the users created in Microsoft Edge. So this is it for this video. Thanks for watching.